Nigerian rich men, most, most of them, spend money on our girls to the extent that it impoverishes us, makes us look like we don't work hard. You call a girl, she says she wants to do a production. She's your girlfriend for whatever benefit she gives you. Uh, how much are you asking for this production? Uh, 150 million. Yeah? 100 million. But me, we'll be okay, okay. Go and work hard, my friend. Oh, man. So, <laughs> what do man do, man? <laughs> uh, what, no, it's, 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 um, it's uh, not a good situation what, because uh, have you seen any lady ask for financial help for medical expenses? Have you? No? Mm. It's only the men. <laughs> no, we are an endangered species. That's what I'm saying. The men are injured. You got to walk like your fellow man. And that's, we're not, we're not going to, I mean, we're not going to come to anybody's door to beg for food. But the fact of the man, men, make could help men. Mm. Mm. It's very important. Support the projects. Don't dash us money. And that's what people like me are saying. I went to a guy a month ago with my assistant, George. I want to tell him, say, for my house, Oga, I did chop belly food. And I have no need to ask any Nigerian for money, for feeding. I, could I even help others? But I'm doing productions. And these productions are helping to pull people out of the street. One thing, do you know one thing why, why most ladies come to me for production? They, they are assured of harassment. Mm. They are assured that you're not paying anything to get auditioned or to say, come and see me later or return this. It's my own production. Simplicity that associate productions. So that money they pay me from this production, I'll apply it back to help people, to take people out of the street, to help those who have been going from one set to the other and saying, I'm just like harass there. Okay, I'll give you this role. Do you understand? I told the guy, this is what I'm doing. He said, uh, no, no, Hala, I'll do something. Coming back in the next two weeks. This is three months after. <laughs> and I didn't say, I didn't place it at the end. I even said, if you want us to do this business, this is it. I'll bring this proposal and so on. If you want to sow a seed, okay. So men are not fair to men in the industry. So when you see somebody riding, a female riding Range Rover, or lighting down cruiser. Oh, good luck. But then, some of the ladies also, don't, don't take it out mm -hmm. of context. Also work hard. I can mention names, work hard. But there's uh, more help coming from this other side than it is to the men. And it's not, uh, it's not a fair play. It's not a fair play because... King of... Um... Sexual harassment. Okay. Because you want you, to go? Yeah, to I, go there. yeah okay. I, I would like to go there. Mm. You, you, have, you have mentioned it and... You know, some people might say hey, you just mentioned it casually. Let's let's go there. Let's then. go there because go there. It, it, would, it would appear like it's a problem. Mm -hmm. Because if I mean good work you're doing, pulling people out of the streets, mm -hmm. helping people, mm -hmm. it means that there are certain people who actively, yes. you know, engage in such vices. Mm -hmm. Like if you're not going to give me this, I will definitely not give mm -hmm. you that. Mm -hmm. I know that. You know, it is not um, exclusive to that industry alone. Mm -hmm. And it is a challenge that people deal with. Mm -hmm. And it's also not exclusive to gender. Mm. But is it possible that this problem can be addressed? I don't know if managed to a to a minimum or eradicated totally from the society. It cannot be er er eradicated. Assessments. It cannot be eradicated. Yeah. But it can be curtailed by legislations, by sanctions, actually not legislation, by sanctions. If you are caught giving condition and it's, it's, uh, the evidence is there, you go in, it, nobody rescues you. But the fact of the matter is, I just came back from Asaba last week, um, Sunday. This lady um, has been chatting me, we took part in one production. She mentioned to me that a particular producer who is notorious yeah. asked her to buy him an iPhone 15 mm -hmm. <coughs> to be getting rolls. And you ask yourself, Aditam, how much is an iPhone 15? That's how much it. does she have to start by you that? So they even ask to the extent that help me pay my house rent. Come and act in this movie and all the stuff uh -uh. and you'll not be paid. <laughs> now, first shot, I'm going to fire. 
Many girls are desperate to act. Oh. But is there anything wrong in no, being wait. desperate to act? No. When you are willing, when you are telling a man, where a more, where a man had a gamma, and then go, where go, where a you understand what I'm saying? Whatever I'm saying. I do Tell me you do what you want. Oh, okay. When you offer a man, I say, okay, give me that role now. I go call your hotel now. What it be this now? I'll not be tired. Mm -mm. What do you expect? Go on, sir, man. Mm. Men. I mean, it's not an official thing. It's an individual thing. So, stop dressing loosely. Stop offering yourself to men because you want to act. Okay. Stop being too desperate. Let me shock you. Let's see if your shock absorber is working. <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> Many ladies, how they act in most places, I don't want to restrict it, Asaba. It's by owning a fine car. The producer will not employ your service to use your car. Mm. She may even say, no, give me the next room. No, pay me. For use of the car, you become an actress. Instead of the normal thing that's supposed to be to audition you, you're good for this role. Mm. So that's why you meet some people on set. You start asking. Yeah, that's it. Better say they don't sleep with this one. No. Uh -huh. Because she can't even say the lines. Hmm. So desperation is, it's, you see, you don't take a child to the nursery school to learn how to poo poo. Mm. The child learns to do it from the house. Mm -hmm. So most of the girls are coming to Nollywood to learn how to act. You don't come to Nollywood to learn how to act. You come to Nollywood to know how to exploit your trade and make it better. No lecturer in any university teaches you how to act. It has to be in you. Mm. They now direct you on stage movement and so on. That's what a lecturer is to do for you. Acting is in you. If it's not in you, go and sell crayfish. Uh, so, so when you have a situation where you have a car and that's all you can offer and then you go do BBL you have it and puff it up and start saying you know start doing your hand like this oh my god these are traits no I'm being practical <laughs> these are traits of what is killing the industry leading to sexual hand and so on because all the producer says is that nakedness that can sell the show for him and that which you can offer as benefit. So, that's just what it is. Mm. So, this producer, some mm. of them are notorious. Yeah. Some of them, the girls have run away, the ones who have sense. Duh. Some of them give in and even tell their friends. And then, worst of all, you are casting a girl for a role. You are supposed to be earning from the movie. What happens when a girl acts in a movie, she's beautiful, and she had told the producer, don't pay me, don't pay me, make her the act to go. I mean, it's desperation. He also knows you're desperate. So he will invite you to his hotel and uh, make it more. Do men suffer this fate in the industry? Oh, yes, yes. But, um, for men, those who have unnatural, you know, when I mean unnatural in law, you should understand it to be when man, they sleep with man and all this stuff, you know. It happen for the industry, of course. Wait, what? But it's a very sad one. <laughs> it's a very sad one. Very sad one. Wow. But we need to. And you see, these things happen just like when there's a woman who would yes. rather box into a corner and not talk. So when some of these things happen, we tell people, come out and talk. I'm a lawyer. If you come to me and say you were done this on a set, I will try to. Nope. make some inquiries mm -hmm. and so on and I have good relationship with the executives of Actors Gate of Nigeria I'll call somebody and say this is what has happened can we investigate and so on but people most times do not come so some of them would rather leave the industry I met a lady who told me she left the industry many years ago because she was asked to do something unholy and she left so you lose such people so the men, the men are not spared. But but if we have not seen examples of... Like, you, you were speaking about somebody who came to you and explained her situation. Mm -hmm. And you spoke of a chronic um, predator. Mm -hmm. Somebody who does that mm -hmm. and people are aware of the person. Yes. If, if, the, if you don't make examples of such people mm -hmm. as an association, 
Don't you think it would still allow those people to thrive and make certain people say, I don't want to do anything for that industry, let me go. And if the person even comes to lodge a complaint to report, yeah. the person might feel that there are people in high places who would want to protect that person because they're like, guys. Yes, mm. it's just like the Andrew Chico thing in Abia State, if you remember. <clears throat> if you remember when the girl jumped from the window and they went to report to the police and all this, they, they, mm-hmm. they, 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 and the case died. The case died. Nigeria is a miracle. <laughs> and we need our police people, policemen, hardworking, military and so on, to stand up for justice. So when you have this situation now, the, the girl in question, or the guy in question, okay, if the girl does not report, what happens? In law, you have what they call local standby. If you don't bring a matter mm-hmm. to me, I, don't, I won't be able to uh, have anything to help you. So it's a clarion call too for these girls to say you have rights and those rights do not under the bed. Also set up a guy. Hmm. Agree to do something. Plant camera. Show it to us. Let's run some people out of the industry. We can do it. Hmm. But you have to have evidence. Don't just walk away from the industry. Have something we can fall back on and say, man, you see, I'm a report card, but it's, it got to go. So you are saying if somebody provides hard evidence, oh yeah, mm-hmm. you people can publicly name shame, name shame, and so I mean, I mean, I like I said, I'm not looking for the next script or the next role. So I have if acting fails today, I will quietly go to a corner and practice my law, oh, and I'll go to court, mm. but do, even do litigation. You understand? So, but right now that I am in the center of the industry. Bring your matters. Mm-hmm. We prosecute them. I fear no man except mm. God. So I can help anybody who wants to be helped. But I cannot. Jesus never went from community to community looking for That's who to it. heal. If you come to Jesus, he will heal you. Mm. So I'm not looking for who to help in Hollywood. I'm looking for people who will come to you and say, Uncle, he did this to me. This is evidence. Mm. I'll run the idiot out of town. 